everyone and welcome to great ones and this time I really think the greatest one that is not a world champion and I, I might even say greater than few of the world champions. I, I mean basically it all comes to one or two games that you know could have made Coach Noy a world champion more than once and you know a, a career that lasted for I would say 65 years, really, it's something unheard of. I mean, born in, or pretty much unheard of, born in 1931. And Coach Noy, not like many others, actually, Coach Noy got into chess at an elderly age. Not like, you know, if, you, if we remember Spassky, that was already a world class when he was around 20. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, he achieved his grandmaster by the age of 19 and so on. I mean, here we have, here we have Coach Noy that, you know, by the age of 21, 2021 qualified for his first Soviet Union championship. So he really started his chess uh, in that sense, much older than many other uh, great players that, you know, many of them became world champion. I mean, he's known for, I mean, you name it, but, uh, you know, the, ga the first game I'm going to start with and the games I'm going to show today, we are going to do it in the opposite way, not see his career developing to be a world champ, to play a world championship match three times, 1974, 80, 78, 81. But after that, let's see Coach Noy in 2011, right? He's 80. So I wasn't mistaken when I said his career lasted 65 years. But if to be honest, let's say until he was 70, 65, 70, he was really a world-class player. Not a world contender for a world championship, but a world-class player. We will see one tournament in 2011 that he won at the age of 70. You are not going to believe me, but well, I will show it to you. Anyway, so many stories defecting from Soviet Union, playing for... Switzerland, uh, kicking the tables or, ki or rumors that, you know, g getting kicked and kicking back with the match with Petrosian. I mean, um, before Nakamura was wearing those uh, sunglasses, you know, in his match against Carlsen, well, you can see the glasses that Coach Noy was wearing in the match against Karpov, being afraid to be hypnotized. The yogurts, a uh, big scandal in Karpov, and so and so on. Uh, Personally, I was at some point was doing some things with Coach Noy, and you know, I, I I speak with him about him. You know, I don't know somehow, uh, you know, with uh, being close, even for a very short period of time. And today, it, this year, sorry, we have lost uh, about three months ago. Really, one of the greatest one at the age of eighty-five. So uh, I, I felt that. I have to do this uh, tribute to him. So, you know, without much of those of, uh, you know, Coach Noy history and the previous matches, let's see Coach Noy at, you know, past 70. Let's call it like this. And uh, really, I, I got to play with him in 93. The game was a draw. And after the game, we went with a few uh, Israeli players. You know, Huzman, that was my coach for a little bit, and Gelfand, and girlfriend looked at me after the game and I remember the exact words, you know, when we were walking to dinner. You just made a draw with a legend, a legend, you know that. And I was thinking, okay, Coach Noy is great and so on, but why girlfriend is speaking so highly about him? You know, if I'm not mistaken, I don't want to put words in girlfriend's mouth, but at some point I, I, I heard that, you know, for girlfriend, Coach Noy was the biggest chess hero anyhow. So, 80 years old Coach Noy playing against, well, the player with the best tournament performance. It happened three years after it in the Singfield Cup, Caruana. Let's see the game. So, this is from Gibraltar Open in 2011. 